Welcome to this video. Today I will show you how you can repay a popular power bank. In this part of country, power bank is uh, common because people like press their phone. They use phone a lot and public power supply is not always uh, on whenever you need it so this is a popular power bank I want to fix it by replacing the entire panel this is the panel this is the wires I'm going to use this lens big one you don't want to use small one then this is the old power bank which I'm going to change the panel and put the new one. This is put a negative black wire on their place. This is a positive black wire, and the second one is negative black wire, a black and red. So this is my digital multimeter. If you don't know how to use this. Please, please uh, check the link uh, below to show you how to use it. So if uh, everything is in place, it's time to go. Check whether your digital multimeter is working. This paste, please, this is not jollof rice. Just kidding. This paste, we use it to make uh, the soldering floss flow so i'm going to rub it on the wire at the end of the wire where i'm going to apply my lead please you don't eat it so i'll fix the positive and negative outlet of the power bank panel please you want to get this uh, panel is cheap comment on the use the comment and I will send it across to you it's cheap and if you have thrown away your power bank before please go and get it as simple as that change the panel and you start making use of the power bank so I'm soothing the negative side this layer is not all that hot. Ensure that your own is hot. Then this is the positive side. Then the B plus means the battery positive. And the B minus means a battery negative. Make sure don't get it strong to avoid the battery explosion. Now, so that here as well. There's other module depending on the one you need. There's other module which is uh, more advanced than this. So I don't have to do more calculation of the battery current uh, voltage and power because this is a battery coming out from a power bank already if i'm using fresh battery i have to do some calculation so you have to read it to make sure that everything is okay the b positive should not read continuous but the b negative will read continuous so if you read the B negative to X, there will be continuity. If you don't know how to read continuity, check the link on the description. This continuity, the multimeter beep slide. So the next thing, I will connect the positive to positive or this uh, batteries and negative to the negative of the batteries so i'm bypassing the 
power bank uh, panel entirely. So you can remove the power bank panel because we want to use the new panel on this uh, power bank. So I've saw that positive. If you have a red wire, please use the red and black so that you won't be confused. But if you know what you are doing, you can use any color of wire. Then this is the negative jump soldering. If you apply enough LED, it's going to stick together. And this is it. I've connected my power bank. So let me test if it's charging. And boom, it's charging. So this is the four bar charging indicator. So the first one is a beeping means that it's charging. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, the casing. But before then, let me test the LED. Whether it's coming on. Once it's coming on, everything is okay and we are good to go. Good. The LED is coming on. So we are good to go. This is part one. You are going to see the part two. Where I will use a battery from scrap or from laptop to produce a very powerful power bank. Thank you and subscribe.